Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Today I wanted to show you how to make this really cute little Christmas card. This is using the Penguin Place stamp set and the Penguin Playmates DSP that came free in the celebration. Um, it's also using the Layering Dioramas dies um, just to cut out this really cute uh, diorama. So um, yeah, let me show you how I did this. So we're going to need um, your basic white thick card base. Um, then I've got a piece here. I've already cut out um, my diorama. Um, this piece of basic white thick cardstock is cut to five and eleven inches by four inches. Um, and then I've also got here a piece of DSP that I've cut to three and thirteen sixteenths by five and a half inches. Um, so it's only slightly smaller than than the piece of basic white. Um, so once you've got your pieces, it's really simple to put together. So I'm going to glue the DSP onto the background. We want to keep that so it's central. Just like that. And then I've got here some of the foam adhesive strips. I'm going to use these to stick on our diorama shape. So you need to decide which way up you want the diorama shape to go. I'm going to stick with it this way. Um, and then we're going to cover the back using these foam strips. So the great thing is these can be cut to size. So, um, so we know we're going to want it about there. I'll we'll chop off this end here. So foam strips work in the same way as your dimensionals, however obviously it's just a long strip. So for something like this, um, it's great. It's uh, It means you've got extra support. Um, so pop that on there like that. Um, foam strips are also handy if you're trying to do shaker cards or anything like that. Um, that should roughly be about the right length. Um, so yeah, definitely worth getting some of these and if you don't already have some. Um, just going to need to chop that end off. Um, and I'm not going to waste the little tiny bit I've cut off, we'll just plonk that on there. And then the same for the other side. Okay, so then I'm just going to cut some of the end pieces off and put them on just to add a bit more support. Oh. as we go around. Just like that. So it's nice and supported now, um, so I don't need to worry about it getting squished or not standing up, because what we don't want is obviously to put on the diorama and have it sink in the middle, because um, then it doesn't look like it's standing up very much. So take off all these little bits. There we go. And then we just want to make sure that we line it up as best we can. Because once it's on, it's on. There we go. Hopefully that's nice and straight. Um, so yeah, so that's quite nicely supported now. You can see it actually looks like it is standing up, which is obviously what we want. Um, now here I've got some pre-cut um, characters from the, the DSP. Um, from the DSP you do have quite a few different characters to choose from um, so you know pick whichever ones you fancy um, I'm gonna pop maybe that fox is a little bit too bushy tailed maybe do it like that um, and I'm just gonna glue these on so we want to make sure that 
when we're gluing, obviously I don't want any glue to come this side because there's nothing to stick onto, so I just want to get that side there. So I'll just go about halfway and then we're just going to pop that on there. And then the same with the fox, just have a think where he's going to go. Um, I think we can get most of them apart from his ears. So, there we go. Okay, stick him on there as well. Um, and then to make a little greeting, um, so I've just got a piece of scrap basic white here. Um, I'm going to stamp on uh, the season's greetings. Um, greeting. So, in the Penguin Place stamp set, you've got a few different greetings. You've also got Happy Birthday as well. Um, and then you've got a few others here. But because of the size, I'm going for the season's greetings. Plus, it's a Christmas card. So, I'm just going to stamp that in the middle of this. Um, now, I don't tend to measure, really, when I'm stamping my greeting. I stamp it and then cut around it. I find it's much easier than trying to measure out all your tiny little pieces of card um, so just like that and then I want to give it just a a little bit of a highlight rather than sticking it onto more cards so I've got some fresh freesia ink and all I'm going to do is just dip the edges into the ink just to give it a highlight really just like that so it's just a nice little way of giving it something extra. Um, and then I'm going to stick that on using um, dimensionals. So turn that over. Find my tweezers. I do find it so much easier using tweezers with dimensionals. Um, okay, and then that's just going to go straight in the middle. Well, maybe wonky in the middle, but it's going in the middle. Um, and that's it and again with everything you can add rhinestones if you want add a bit of Wink of Stella um, whatever you fancy really um, but that's it nice quick Christmas card I didn't cut a bird out for this one but yeah you can add whatever you fancy uh, the characters are quite cute uh, and nice and easy to use once you cut them out so um, but yeah so thank you very much for watching this tutorial today um, I hope you found it useful and I hope that it's inspired you to try and mix and match some different sets and DSPs and things. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of any other videos that I put up. Thanks again. Take care. Bye bye.